Hey, a couple of days ago I showed you guys some parts for a swamp cooler that I was building. A swamp cooler is essentially an air conditioner that works in low humidity, so it's ideal for the desert. We're taking one with us to Burning Man this year. Uh, now that I have the thing a little bit further along, I just wanted to show you what I did. This first part is a solar cell. It is a trickle charger that if we put it out in the sun, will charge this 12 volt battery. I went with 12 volt because it's a standard for cars. Um, this is actually made by Wild Gain. The two pieces come together. Kind of like that because I'm going to use this whole unit as one self contained solar thing to create air conditioning. The next piece is a piece of extension cord or lamp cord that I put two alligator clips on, solder to them on, put a little bit of heat shrink plastic over it just to finish it up and make it look good. That coils up leads to a little stop here that I put in the handle of a garbage can and then we get to the main body of the swamp cooler. On top there is a 12 again a 12 volt fan. One of the reasons I really like this fan is it was DC and I could run it directly from the battery. It's for an auto for blowing air through a radiator for people that have older cars on hotter climates. Um, I knew that from when I lived in Florida as a kid, so you never know where a piece of knowledge is going to come from. Once we open it up, on the inside, you see that there's a wire mesh roll that's made just a little bit smaller than the size of the garbage can. This is so when the water begins to trickle down it, it doesn't, in the end, trickle out the holes that we've sewn in the size as intakes. Inside of that, there's what's called Aspen Roll. It's actually made for making swamp coolers. It is a way of like having a sponge in there that stays wet, but also allows air to move through it. Look closely on top here, there is a plastic tube. Eventually I will perforate this tube to let the water out. Currently I'm letting this little bit of silicone dry there in the end of it. On the end of this tube, there's a submersible 12 volt. There's that number again, 12 volt water pump. This is dropped into the water and stays probably not at the bottom so you don't pull so much silt through but it's just down there on a brick or something all of this gets put back together garbage can lids and then if i connect my battery to the cooler Again, one of the reasons I like this auto fan, as you can tell, it puts out a lot of air. That pulls in a lot of air so that I'm probably going to be evaporating about two and a half, three gallons of water during the hot part of the day, say 10 o'clock to 3 or 4 in the afternoon. Um, I'm hoping to be able to drop the temperature from about 90 degrees to about 70 degrees using this unit. Uh, I will report back, I guess, later on August and let you know how it went. 